In this morning's Business Insight, on March 25th, the Greater Cincinnati Foundation is hosting a conversation with Abby Wambach. Wambach is known for being a world-class soccer player, but she's also an advocate for equal pay. To talk about the event, we are joined by Megan Cummings, Executive Director of the Greater Cincinnati Foundation's Women's Fund, and Sarah Huber, Chief Financial Officer for FC Cincinnati. They are with Business Watch producer Kelly Leon in the studio. Megan, Sarah, and Kelly. Thanks, Peg. Megan and Sarah, thanks so much for being here. Megan, let's start with you on why this event, why bring in Abby, and what what you hope to accomplish at the yeah, event. Yeah, absolutely. The Women's Fund has hosted this event for the past five years, and we've always brought in a female history maker that has a compelling life story, but also um, fits in with our mission of empowering women and working on women's economic self-sufficiency. So Abby is a soccer legend, World Cup champion, uh, Olympic gold medalist, and she's also in her retirement working on um, equal pay issues, which are very near and dear to our hearts. So we thought this would be the perfect opportunity to bring her in. What are her messages going to be about equal pay? Do you know at this point? Yeah, you... well, we're still uh, having talks with her about what her exact message will be that day. But what we're inspired by is her work, especially between the men and women's team in the past and the pay differences yeah. even in sports. And we know that those um, inconsistencies are go across sectors. And so there's a lot to talk about. She comes from a soccer background, but we kind of look at all businesses and what pay is. Yeah. And Sarah, you come from a soccer background now. <laughs> I do, yeah. This is somewhat new to you, FC Cincinnati. How many other women are you encountering in positions like yours? Uh, I'll be honest, there's not a whole lot. <laughs> yeah. Last year I was pretty fortunate though. The Louisville City um, FC team, our big rivals in the league, their president and general manager was a female, Amanda Duffy. And um, I got introduced to her pretty early on in the season and was really able to use her as a resource as I started to navigate professional sports on the business side. Interesting. And how did you two join forces, FC Cincinnati and the Greater Cincinnati Foundation Women's Fund. How did you guys come together? Sure. So when we were thinking about bringing Abby Wong back in, and we're so excited about that, we thought, what a better time to bring her in than this wave of momentum yeah. going on with FC Cincinnati. Clearly, Cincinnati is a soccer town. And we thought this was just a great opportunity to ride that wave of momentum and bring in a soccer legend to, um, to complement it. So the timing couldn't be better. Nice. So who are you looking for to be in the audience? I can imagine there's yeah. a lot of young soccer players out there, female soccer players that are going to want to be in that audience. Absolutely. And not just girls, but boys too. So many people have admired Abby over her career. She has been a clutch goal scorer, which is, mm -hmm. just makes her a fan favorite. So we have so many people that are supporters of the Women's Fund that don't miss this event any year. Of course, they're coming. We have a wave of younger women and kids who have grown up watching that women's national team and being so inspired by them to get to hear her message firsthand is really exciting. So we're packing the house. It's at Northern Kentucky Convention Center on March 25th. Yeah, I think we, if we can put up the full screen again Perfect. so that, because you want people to register. It is important Absolutely, to you to get yeah. people to register and come. And what will the day entail in addition to Abby's remarks? Sure. So um, we start off with reception for all the attendees and then she'll go into a keynote address just talking about her life in soccer, her remarkable career and now her next chapter which will be equally as exciting. And then Betsy Ross um, will be interviewing her and taking questions from the crowd um, just to see what fans are interested in what they want to ask her. So people will get a chance to interact somewhat with her. Absolutely, and then we're hoping everyone stays in Covington, finds their nearest watering hole to, um, <laughs> to watch the um, FC Cincinnati um, game that night, which is their first game of the season. It is, yeah, against Charleston. Oh, exciting. Yeah. So it could so, be a soccer day. <laughs> a big soccer day. So speaking of, since you're here, we have sure. to ask you, can you give us a preview of the season? What, what's coming up? What's exciting this year? Uh, well, we look to build on the success we had last year. Uh, we are really excited to announce this week that we've surpassed 11,000 season tickets. Oh so my God, that's fantastic. We're more than double what we had last year, and we look to continue to build on that. Um, the city has shown, and our fans have shown, that they want to invest in us, and so we're trying to show that we're investing in them as well. Um, this year, we're going to have some um, increased merch 
experiences. Mm -hmm. So we have a new point of sale system. Um, last year we got the message that our lines were a little long and it was a little bit clunky. So we have a new point of sale system. We're going to be a little more efficient with our lines. Um, we're actually going to have a full Nike suite offering. So we heard our fans loud and clear they want Nike. <laughs> um, we're going to have more uh, a broader food experience, especially up in the club. Um, we've been fortunate to work with our partners at Airmark, and they've come up with a concept where they're, they're going to pick out a unique item from each of the cities um, from our visiting teams, and we're going to highlight one of those each game. Um, and. What else do I, what else can I share with that's, you? That's a lot going it on. Is. <laughs> yeah. it is. We have a lot going on. Well, thank you both so much for, for being here. Best of luck with the event. Thanks. Um, and again, go online and register. You're still yeah, taking buy tickets. reservations mm -hmm. for that. And best of luck with the season. Thank you very much. Thanks both of you for thank being you. here.